off. Now, if we take a look at the M3, it's actually closed southbound between Junction 1 for Sunbury and Junction 2 for the M25. There's been an accident. And also on the M3, London bound, the entry slip road is partly blocked at Junction 3 for light water and bagshot cars broken down there. Well, time for the weather now. Here's Lucy Martin. Hello, good morning. The cloudy skies of yesterday have been working their way south overnight. So today we're looking at a dry, bright day with some sunshine on the cards as well. Some of us could wake up to a slightly cloudier start, just one or two patches of mist around first thing, but they'll quickly lift, brightening up through the morning with plenty of sunshine developing. Perhaps a little bit of high-level cloud bubbling up into the afternoon, but nothing to spoil the day. With light winds, we're looking at highs of 15 degrees Celsius. Through this evening and overnight, it will stay dry. We'll see clear spells, and that means the temperatures are going to fall away. We're looking at an overnight low of around 7 degrees Celsius in towns and cities. A touch cooler than that rurally, though, so a chilly start to the day tomorrow but it will be a bright one. We'll see the cloud generally increasing as we move through the day but holding on to some brighter intervals or sunny spells. A breezier day than today with that westerly wind and highs of 15 degrees Celsius. As we move into Sunday the wind will start to ease but it will also spin around to more of a northerly which will take the edge off the temperatures. A largely dry day with some sunny spells to come on Sunday. Just the risk of seeing the odd isolated shower but that northerly breeze taking the edge off the temperatures. It'll be a chilly night overnight into Monday which means that some of us could be reaching for the windscreen scrapers by the time we get to Monday morning. And that's all from us till the next bulletin in half an hour. There's plenty more on our website at the usual address. For now, though, it's back to Steph and Nagger. Bye-bye.